Grand Junction City officials believe increasing lodging tax and short-term rental taxes will increase affordable housing in Mesa County, but some community members believe otherwise. Our Kyra Isaac spoke with two business owners who believe the tax increase will not have the desired effect and worry the measures will hurt tourism and the local economy. I've owned the property here. It was built in uh, uh, 2018 and it's been a short-term rental for six months. The city of Grand Junction just proposed two measures for November's ballot intended to combat the affordable housing crisis. The measure hikes the lodging tax 1% and the short-term rental tax by 8%. Tom LaValle owns an Airbnb. We already pay the basic lodging tax just like the hotels do. Tom believes city council's measures are short-sighted and will do little to improve the housing issue in Mesa County. Kevin Cole, also a short-term rental owner, agrees. We're already paying the nine, over 9% to the city sales and lodging tax. This was going to be almost a 100% increase. In a daily Sentinel poll, almost 32% voted yes to both measures, while over 50% voted no. Grand Junction short-term rental owners also created yard signs to bring awareness. And I think you will find some people that decide to get out of the industry. Short-term rental owners I talk to say their properties not only help pay for their homes, but bring tourist dollars that benefit the community. We're only four blocks from Main Street, so it'll stop that person from walking downtown, buying a meal, buying a drink, shopping downtown. Uh, it has a huge impact they haven't even considered in this issue. Right now, the city's short-term rental tax is 14.52 percent. If both measures pass, the city will add 9 percent, making the tax a whopping 23.52 percent. They say it's going to all be on the visitor. It's not on the visitor. It's on me as a business owner. By comparison, Palisade short-term rentals pay 13.9 percent and Fruta's rate is 6 percent which would leave us at uh, disadvantage in competition to those entities. And people in the county, if you have a short-term rental, are paying zero. So it would definitely hurt the city of Grand Junction. People that choose these choose them over a hotel. Um, this is why they come to these areas, and they like to be downtown. Uh, they like to experience the atmosphere of Grand Junction, and will be shut out of that if they continue on with these taxes. Reporting first on the Western Slope, I'm Kyra Isaacs, KREX 5 News. We'll follow up with city officials to get their perspective on the proposed measures.